Have you been curious about that virtual airline option in Air Hauler 2? Today we will take you through the basic setup so you can start earning those sim dollars and connect with other sim captains. Welcome to Flight Brothers FT, produced by Tim and Lee. Plan the flight and fly the plan. All charts courtesy of Navigraph Charts, not to be used for real world navigation. Be sure to subscribe and explore the rest of the channel for high quality aviation content and entertainment. Welcome to our quick tour of the Air Hauler 2 virtual airline system. If you are not already familiar with Air Hauler 2, click the link above to see Lee's video on the primary function of the game, a standalone simulated airline management system that integrates with your X-Plane 11 simulator. Now let's get started making our virtual airline, or VA for short. The first step we will take is navigating to the virtual airline tab on the topmost menu bar. This presents us with a graphic menu for your VA, and we want the first icon labeled Company Info. Unless you already have a VA, you will get a pop-up with three options. Today we are exploring the Create a VA option to make our own airline. Now we will begin to set up our company, beginning with a VA name. We are going to call ours FBFT, which obviously stands for Flight Brothers FT. Next, we must select a base for our VA, which is probably familiar if you've played Air Hauler 2 for some time. I have selected TJBQ in Puerto Rico. My rationale for this choice was a mix of the location, price, and facilities. I wanted easy access to the Caribbean, the southern United States, and the northern parts of South America, as well as obviously all of Central America. The runway here is large enough for heavy cargo jets, we have an ILS for bad weather, and the airport fees are acceptable. Now we can click Use Selected to move on. Next we will need some startup capital funds. This will be deducted from whatever air hauler airline you opened up in the game before starting this VA. I have chosen to use 15 million from my airline for this new VA. You don't have to choose that much, I just wanted enough to make life easy. Lastly, you will set up a pin to protect the VA assets, just like you would for the ATM machine. Once the pin is selected, click Create Company. Our VA now exists within the system, but we have some further setup to do. You can see our Virtual Airline tab has three tabs included within it, right under our FBFT company name. We have Virtual Airline, Company Admin, and Advertising and Hiring. The Virtual Airline Inner tab gives us some banking functions as well as VA stats on pilots, cargo, passenger routes, fleet, etc. The Company Admin tab allows us to set up pilot payments, such as profit sharing for jobs that are flown, and an optional pilot salary. The percentage payout will determine how much of the job revenue goes to the pilot and the remainder will go to the VA account. The salary scheme allows for weekly or monthly payments and you can set whatever amount you would like that to be. Again, this is optional. We've chosen for ours to have no salary but to pay our pilots 50% of each flown job's revenue. Lastly, we have the Advertising and Hiring tab which will be the official face of the company on the Air Hauler VA BBS bulletin board system. This also has inner tabs, one for advertising setup and the other for managing income -ing applications. Let us start in the advertising setup and get a company logo in. Beware, Air Hauler will only accept a 350 by 200 pixel image. This can be a little annoying on the user's part as you will probably need to resize whatever image you had in mind. Now that I have a properly sized image, my logo appears on the advert page. Next we need to get a description of our company in the text box here. This will be what sim pilots will see on the VA bulletin board system. Many VAs have listed specifics about the airline, expectations for the member pilots, as well as whatever salary or payment scheme they are using. 
We will not bore you right now by typing out our full description, but I promise you Lee and I have planned to expand our VA and if you go on you will find a full description and we are going to slowly include all of the default X-Plane aircraft as we get the funds to add them. It is our hope that our Flight Brothers viewer community might join us for some air hauler fun, so go ahead and look us up here at FBFT. We figured using default aircraft should allow just about everybody to participate if they're willing. Be sure to click Save Advertising Description in the bottom right when you are done editing this part. Now let us check out the second graphical tab, VA Bases. You can see what your monthly base rental fees are here, and if you expand to have other bases, they will also be listed here. The third graphical tab is VA Pilots. Here you can see me at the moment, Professor, my stats on jobs done, none, my last login and check boxes for my permissions within the VA. This will allow you to give other sim pilots who join your VA more or less access to help you run the company. Our fourth graphical tab is the VA fleet. This is very similar to your standalone air hauler company fleet page, except we now have buttons to book aircraft in and out and even an override. This can take some getting used to, particularly remembering to book in aircraft when you are done so other VA pilots can access them. Sorry about that, Lee. The fifth graphical tab is VA Cargo Jobs. And this is just like your company jobs page for your standalone airline. You can see we have no jobs listed now as the company was just formed before your very eyes. Before I accept any jobs, I'm going to get some aircraft into the fleet. We can either buy them outright or transfer from our standalone airline. I have a few on my standalone that we have uh, outgrown as an operation, but I never sold them. So let us start with those. You can see in the fleet tab for my standalone, I have a BE-58 Beechcraft Baron. The last button on the far right allows me to transfer to VA. Simply confirm on the pop-up and the aircraft ownership is transferred and it disappears from your standalone airline. Now that we have a very small fleet, let us find some jobs. You can find jobs in your Available Cargo Jobs tab in your standalone and accept them over to the VA, but you will find substantially more options available in the Worldwide Job BBS system in the graphical menu. You can see we literally have jobs all over the world listed here. It is important to read all the jobs description carefully. Our little Baron is pretty capable, but it certainly won't be carrying 100,000 pound loads anywhere. Now that we have an aircraft, I think it's a good time to get our VA live on the air hauler system so pilots can apply like my buddy Lee. Back to the company info graphical tab and then right about our logo is a checkbox to show in VA hiring BBS. Once we have clicked that checkbox we are live and we can start taking applicants. Let's get into the hiring BBS from that graphical tab above. You can see we've arrived at an alphabetized list and FBFT is not going to be on the front page. You can see again Air Hauler has given us even more inner tabs because that's just the way they like to set this thing up. This time it is showing us 162 virtual airlines on the recruiting tab and a My Applications tab showing zero. Wah, wah. Scrolling through, we can see a wide variety of VAs with some having very specific descriptions and high quality logos, and others have a much more basic appearance. And there we are with our beautiful FBFT banner. Not the best on here, but not the worst either. If you go to apply for us now, the description has been expanded and we have added even more aircraft to our fleet since this was recorded. To apply, Simply click the button underneath the VA company description. I have just called up uh, Flight Bro Lee and told him all about our exciting new virtual airline and that he absolutely has to apply and I won't take no for an answer. 
So he's decided to graciously apply. So let's go see what the application looks like on the receiving end. Back at the company info graphical tab button, we go to the inner tab of advertising and hiring, and then the inner inner tab of applications. Air Hauler really does love these layered tab systems. Here I can see Lee's application in pending status. Clicking on it, I can see his very professional application letter and have a box to reply as well as buttons to reject or approve him. Now that I've clicked approve, I am prompted to write a response and then the last step will be for Lee to accept the job offer I have just sent. Hooray, Lee has accepted because I gave him no actual choice in the matter. So let us look at the virtual airline pilots tab. He is now listed and I can tweak his permissions if desired. Checking the virtual airline fleet tab, I can see that Lee is currently in a BE-9L, which is the King Air C-90, another default aircraft. It did not make it into the video, but I added that aircraft a little bit earlier. Both Lee and I are positioned currently in Western Cuba. We flew out here earlier on a positioning flight, and we got to do it together on uh, Join FS, so we were in the same virtual world. We are here to pick up cargo to do a cargo job out to Cancun. If we check the Virtual Airline Cargo Jobs tab, we can see that the job, as well as seeing the amount of cargo, which is loaded into the King Air, and the remaining cargo that is loaded into the Baron. You can also see in the Cargo Jobs tab that the job was added by Lee. This is one of those permissions that you can adjust for each of the pilots, and I have given him permission to add things to the schedule. Since the aircraft are both loaded, I'm going to click Fly Now, and Lee will need to click Fly Now, and then we can get this started. We hope you have enjoyed this quick tour of the Air Hauler Virtual Airline setup. Lee and I did complete the cargo job to Cancun, where unfortunately I flipped my Baron over upside down. Uh, due to a quirk of Air Hauler, it had received my first bounce on landing as a good landing, and so it didn't actually record my eventual crash, so I won that one, Air Hauler, take that. But uh, after this, we split up into the Caribbean to complete some more independent jobs. Generally speaking, we both found this a really cool experience to be sharing the cargo job for our new VA, and it made for a great evening of flying over JoinFS and Discord. If you have more questions about Air Hauler and the VA system, please throw them in the comment below. If you would like to join the Flight Brothers VA for some informal flying around the Caribbean, look us up on that BBS system at FBFT. We'd love to have you and uh, we'll certainly accept anyone who's really interested in flying with us. Special thanks to Just Flight for providing us with a second copy of Air Hauler 2 to try out this VA and its functions. Air Hauler 2 for X-Plane is available on JustFlight.com for $49.49 US dollars. So until next time, Sim Captains, remember, plan the flight and fly the plan. If you enjoy this content, consider buying us a coffee to show your support. Visit us at buymeacoffee.com slash flightbrosft or search for us from the menu if you'd like to contribute. A link will be provided in the video description below.